Well, well, well. But look what we have here. Hello everyone, this is LW Gaming and welcome back for another Language Store M video. Today's video we're gonna take a look at what has what has what's happening within the Language Store game itself. So anyways, first off, uh this is a major update, and in fact this is a fourth anniversary major update. I mean you will expect a lot of things going on within this uh update, right? Well, you're not wrong. There are actually a lot of things we need to look after. So anyways. Uh, this major update added two new characters. Uh, we got we got Sword Light and Shadow, aka New Zerida, as well as Girl in the Shell, aka New uh, Lucretia. <clears throat> and I gotta say, uh, the one unit that is actually pretty broken when it comes to PvP is a uh, Sword of Light and Shadow, because like uh, sh her three C especially, like her three C disables the uh, revive effects as well as like she will she will uh, attack first if she has the talent stack on her active and also <clears throat> i think she's the first unit as an assassin to be able to have a revive on there but i don't know i could be wrong but i, I think i think she's the first one to have the revive uh built in from her talent and also to add soul to injury uh, the Sword Line Shadows revive can be actually performed multiple times per map, which is pretty pretty crazy. If you don't deal with her immediately, she will just be a nuisance to to fight against. If you if your opponent has a Sword Line Shadow, oh God mercy, because like she's just so powerful. <coughs> All right, before we go into summoning, although yes, I am planning to summon. Uh, I was originally planning to summon. Uh, this banner on uh, alt account only, but I changed my mind because you know since my main account has a lot of resources, I was like, why not? I could probably just do uh, one of those SSR pulls, and that's about it. But anyways, we shall see. And also speaking of which, I actually did pull on my alt earlier, uh, which is off camera, of course. So here's the result I got. <clears throat> okay, if I remember, if I can remember in my head. Uh, my first, but my first SSR I got was on the first temple. Yes, it's crazy, but it's actually happened. So, anyways, the first SSR I got on that one was a uh, girl in the show. So yeah, I got I got her on the old, which honestly this is not what I wanted on my old, but it is what it is. And uh, the and then I tried again uh, two more times. The second time I got. <clears throat> was another girl in the show, which puts her at four stars to begin with, which is nice. But the thing is, I was hoping it would be other, someone else, but unfortunately, it keeps getting me that unit. And then the third one, you probably guessed it. What I got? Oh wait, actually, before I say the third one, the second one, the, the amount I used, I think it was fifty. <clears throat> it might be fifty actually, or maybe sixty. I don't remember. So yeah, I got I got, I got her again. Yeah, and then on the third one, I believe it was. I think it was also sixty, but maybe fifty. I I think. But anyways, she appeared again, a girl in the show. So that means I got three copies of her, which honestly it could have been worse. I don't I don't know. But I mean, at least it's not off banner. I'm I'm fine with that. But the one frustration part is that um. <clears throat> If you end up getting someone that's off banner, then that's on that's unfortunate. But I'm glad that it hasn't happened for me at the moment. But let's just hope it doesn't happen, because like um, I really do not like getting getting jump scared by that. And also um, and also this is the fourth anniversary. There will be lots of goodies to be sent in your mail. Uh, the community event rewards. So yeah, you get lots of goodies here, which is pretty nice. Uh, a free runestone is nice as well. <coughs> You're gonna need those anyways. <clears throat> as well as the any key workout machines, which is pretty nice. Uh three of them. Some training crystals is always nice. Uh gate of fate. I mean wheels of fate, I mean. And also a free Elwin skin. Pretty nice, right? Yeah, all these are claimable. And also don't forget to share the event to get fifty additional crystals. <clears throat> it does not sound a lot, but but it is worth it in, uh, when, when it adds up. So anyways, and also since this is a major update, if you have your email linked with this game, 
you should be able to get an, an exclusive code just for you. Uh, so that way you can get two more Trinity vouchers. <clears throat> and also, and also, if you haven't claimed the rewards from the info page, uh, do it now because this one gives you five Trinity vouchers. They do this every major update, so don't miss out on those. All right, let's give a quick dive of what those uh, events are. So anyway, so first off, we got new heroes, like I mentioned earlier. Garuna Shell and Sword of Light and Shadow. We got Divine Oathsworn Summon. This is basically the hero wishlist banner. So anyways. <clears throat> and also, I forgot to tell you about this major object cycle. This one is a five week instead of the usual four week we used to have. I guess they do they do this to like... um basically match up with the late, with the last year's uh, anniversary duration because last year we got 5 weeks and this week and, and this year we got we got 5 weeks again i guess that's what they're doing here so anyways uh, this this major update will last until uh february 1st so that means we won't begin to leo back with zeon on, on uh until uh february 2nd if things goes accordingly and we also got the equipment banner as well. This is basically the same thing as the as the hero summon, but this one is for is for is for equipments. But this is, this one allows you to wish list wish list um gears all the way until uh, until I think the bone I I think bloodthirsty kind of uh, uh, addition patch. I don't know, but anyways, the the this is the banner that's best if you want to hold for a specific gear. Polestar Voyage. <clears throat> oh yeah, let's not forget about what they do as a tradition for every uh every every, tw every halfway point of the of the year. So like every six months we'll get something similar like this. So anyways, this is the hero bag that they mentioned. But anyways, before you buy a hero bag, just be, be sure you you look at what this is because you know. Some, sometimes people could get confused of which one is the hero bag and which one is not. Like this time around, they changed the design. They changed the design of the hero bag. So if you're looking for a hero bag, look for something like this. It has a star on it with a box and like a present, something like that. Anyway, so we'll get into that later in the video because uh, we're gonna, I'm going to explain what heroes are included here. I was originally thinking about making a separate video for this, but you know what? Since this is the fourth anniversary, I'm going to make this episode special by including this near the end of the video. I'll try my best to remember. So, <clears throat> anyways, let's see. Uh, there's also a Craftsman. There's also a Craftsman Treasure Chest. Uh, this one is basically the equipment of your choice banner. Uh, equipment of your choice uh, gift pack. This one gives you a uh, specific equipment you want. Like, uh, basically, if you really need some of those hip, uh, any of those things, I'll probably recommend accessories if you're still low on those, but you can choose any gear you want, uh, except for, I don't know if there are any restrictions of which ones can be selected and which ones cannot be. Honestly, I wasn't sure. And also, we got the trio of Brill Brilliance. This one is like a couple more gift gift box. Uh, I have a gift pack that gives you some stuff that are pretty good, especially the challenge points. You're probably gonna need that one, but we'll look into the pricings later. For now, we're just gonna look at look at the what we usually get when you get those uh, packs. <clears throat> and of course, uh, some people are worried that Waytham Banner might not be coming. Well. Uh, you can we can set that worry aside because Waytham is actually going to be available for five weeks. So yes, uh, if you're missing Waytham uh, for whatever reason when he was first released on, uh, but back in like uh, I think December twenty third, uh, twenty twenty one, I think. Like I don't I don't remember the exact date, but I think that's the that's the date of his first debut. Anyways, if you for some reason still miss the Waytham, uh, this is the banner that will probably net you the best results because uh, if you if you have summoned previously but wasn't able to get Waytham, uh, you can actually get him here if you still need some shards for him. Even though if you did get some off banners, eh, I mean eventually you'll get him because you get shards as a compensation. I'm not gonna talk about what wait how this banner works because I already said it before. <clears throat> And also, speaking of Waytham, uh, Waytham got a new skin. 
in this patch, which is called Trail of Chaos, or also known as the Ghost Knight. Although, if you look at the skin really closely, it looks... It, it doesn't seem like Waytham at all, but... Um, because look at the armor design. It kind of looks like a Alpha's armor, but maybe not. So, so yeah, anyways, Waytham, Waytham is getting another skin. Uh, so that means the cat skin is not the only skin he can be using. We also got the Love Song of Youth. Uh, this one gives you some uh, juicy rewards. Uh, all you do is just log in. All you do is just log in and you will get those re rewards. And also including the including the casting patterns of Brilliant Ribbon. This is pretty important if you when you if you want to get the uh, casting pattern skill unlocked for your characters. And also you get some extra goodies as well. I think these are the yeah these are the accessory patterns, which is pretty nice. <coughs> oh yeah, the first day reward is pretty nice. It gives you the fourth anniversary uh avatar frame, pretty nice, and uh, as well as Matthew's uh, Stone of Dreams. So, anyways, this this item is basically the one that you get when you complete the first story. What this does, it allows you to uh, reset Matthew's uh, class pathing. So, if, for example, if you're not satisfied with the choices you made uh, when you first start the game, uh, this stone will allow you to fix that. Be because like it allows you to change to another class you want. But at the cost of one of these, uh, Stone of Dreams. Anyways, I will probably save it if you don't plan to use it, but if you at some point that, that you need to change your Matthew class, this is the item you need. We also got the Alsaria Anniversary Invitation. And let's see what this says. Uh, during this event, the invite new players and returning players to enter the event page to activate the invitation code. And both the inviter and the inv invitees will get activ activation rewards. A after activation, the invites invitees come can complete the re relevant tasks for seven days. Both the inviter and the invitees will receive the corresponding daily re event rewards, training crystals, training vouchers, and other amazing prizes and wait for you, uh, are waiting for you. So yeah, if you guys um, are trying to like do this event, you're gonna need to have an invitee do it with you. So this is kind of like a co-op co kind of event. Basically, you had to collect, you had to click on the link. Uh, one of my I think one of my former Gyome has sent a link in my uh, in my Discord. I'll do that later. <coughs> because the only screen you can see is the game itself. Alright. Yeah, I know this is taking a long time for me to summon, but and because there's a lot of things we need to cover. So anyways, the Legendary Gate. Uh, this one is a re recurring event. Uh, unlike last time, this one runs for two weeks instead of one week. So, anyways, what during this event, your uh, your gate of fate chances has been increased by uh, by double. So, we usually get nine as a default number, but now within this event, we get eighteen in total. So that means we get more gate of fates we can do here, which is pretty awesome. Oh yeah, and also major updates reset the resets the echo of light cycle. So that means if you need those rewards right now, you can get them again by per, by spending money, but I mean, only at your expense. So do not spend too much if you're not planning to buy those. If you're not, if you're not planning to use those or buy these at all. <coughs> I only used 20 here so because uh, of the gift pack I got, which I'll look into later. And also, there's a new event right now. I think this is in the Secret Realm. Anyways, this one is a limited event, so bear that in mind. So this is a tower defense game mode. So in case... um unsure what this game mode does, uh, look check on Kong's uh, video uh, introducing this game mode because this is technically a tower defense game and there are a few catches that I can that I'm probably gonna need to look, uh, want you to address here so during this game mode uh, the heroes you can choose here are are preset so so that means you cannot use your own heroes in this game so just to let you know if you plan to play this game mode uh, this is what this is actually uh, beginner friendly just to let you know, because um, you're not forced to use your own units to play this mode. The game will just choose, will just make, build the units for you to use. <coughs> and also here, this there's another event that we actually uh, are anticipating, uh, which is a let's sweat it out together. Although the 
the, the title of this event it sounds pretty gross, but anyways, this is what it is. Um, basically, this one this one opens all the NEK gyms. So if you're missing some of the some of those uh training e equipments for whatever reason, uh, this event will help you out a bit because it allows you to challenge any NEK gyms to you as you wish, which is pretty nice. Uh, this one only lasts for a week, so take advantage of this as much as you can. And also, we got the memories gift. Uh, this one, it's an interesting one because like um, you're gonna need to spend a lot of Trinity crystals to get all those rewards. Well, uh, the the if you spend the most, you get this skin here, which is uh, which it looks pretty cool. It's a musical skin for Cherie, so it looks like we got more more units here getting the musical skins. Oh man, this is a wild ride here. Uh, honestly, I don't think I'll be able to reach it at this point, but maybe. I don't know. <clears throat> Anyways, this event will last for the whole cycle. So if you still um, haven't got all these, don't worry. It, you you can still get you can still get them doing your summons on the other banners. Just the FYI. And I think that's all the events that we can cover for now, but we're going to go into a store to show you what they are costing you. So anyways, in the store, there are some new skins that we can see here. So we got a Waytham skin, Ghost Ghost Knight, or it's actually a new skin here. This will this will stay in the store for for 35 days. At the Helena's uh, Christmas, oh, wait, is this Christmas? Uh, I think it is, yeah. Christmas skin, it will be here for for like eight more days if you still haven't got it. Uh the we also got the Ivory Dancer from from, La, from Luna. This will be 14, 14 days, which is two weeks. We also got uh, Liana's uh, returning skin, which is a musical of course. Uh also two weeks. <coughs> we also got Matthew's uh, uh Matthew's musical skin which will also be two weeks and Claret skin for two weeks. And also, the Waytham's cat skin has returned. Uh, th this one will be 35 days. And that's about it for the heroes uh, skins that we got here. So yeah, there are lots of returning ones as well as the new one. And then gift packs. So let's dive right in what the gift packs have cost. How much does it cost for each of them? So anyways, we got the gift of Eternal Knight. This one gives you... Uh, Okay, this one is interesting. Uh, oh wait, wait, wait. Th I think this is the. I think this is the Covian, the new Covian. I think, is that what this is? <coughs> I'm sorry, I didn't even cover that new Covian. I gotta look at that if it's if it's really new. And this one is twenty bucks. This one gives you the uh, equipment you need. Okay, Snowy Knight Settlement. This one gives you uh. Five Trinity vouchers as well as a random SSR equipment, but however, the the price justified the randomness. But anyways, you 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 can only buy one time, so you won't be sure what equipment you'll get. And then Taylor's gift box. Uh, this one gives you uh challenge points as well as skin vouchers. This is a good deal because normally when we when you get when we get the custom exclusive equipment box, they usually cost around fifty bucks, but this one is like it's like um. It's only ten bucks, <coughs> so that's a nice change for cust for the challenge points when you want to get them. Bountiful guide, uh, uh, guide box, or the guided box. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Anyways, this one is twenty-one bucks. This one gives you some trinity crystals, which is one thousand five hundred, a runestone, and some gold. We also got the Calorie Eliminator. This one gives you some uh, soldier training materials as well as some training vouchers, which is enough for Temple. We also got the Gift of the Snowsmith. This one gives you martial, epic martial spirits, uh, some uh, equipment upgrades needed. Okay, that's for 15 bucks. And you can buy that six times. And also we got the Glory Caster's Gift Pack. This one gives you uh, casting patterns materials for 65 bucks. So yeah, that's a lot of money. If you if you're well financed, uh if you're well uh budget on your thing, <coughs> you can buy this but do it at, at your own risk because this is not cheap. Okay, hero promo promotional chest. 
hero promotion chest, I mean. This one uh, gives you some training crystals as well as some class materials for your heroes for 10 bucks. Okay. That can be bought four times. We also got the Warlord combo. This one gives you some enchantments for uh, 60 bucks. And also including the SSR keys if you still need them. But anyways, again, this is expensive, so you probably don't want to get that if you're, if you're not well budgeted. Like budget, I mean. We also got the Treasure of the Gate. Uh, this one, Wheels of Fate, Trinity Vouchers and Crystals, some gold. Yeah, a uh, good deal for both ways. Like you can get extra extra poles in here, as well as some um, extra wheels that you need for your Gate of Fate sharding farm. We also got the Grand Trinity Festival. Uh, this one gives you a ton of resources for Trinities, like Trinity Vouchers, which is 15, and the uh, Trinity Crystals of 3,600. That sounds a lot. <coughs> that sounds a lot, not gonna lie. We also got the Runic Chest. This one, get, this one is a is a 30 bucks deal. Uh, this one's a, this one gives you runestones, some, uh, and also a random SSR accessory as well as the enchant gift pack, which is five of them. And also, before I forget, uh, the Granite Trinity Festival costs around 100 bucks. That's the most expensive one out there. So if you plan to buy this, reconsider. You don't want to do this because you know this one costs a lot of money. So just don't do that. And then we got Secret Crafter's Chest. This one gives you, oh, another pack of uh, challenge points, huh? This was, this is 20 bucks to get one. But if you want to get those challenge points, I will probably just go for Taylor's Gift Box because this one gives you basically the same amount, but with at a lower cost. So if you want to get those just challenge points, just get the Taylor's uh, Gift Pack because that one gives you uh, that one gives you the exact same thing as you get for for Seeker Crafter's Chest, but at half the price. <clears throat> we also got the Lightcaster's Gift Pack. This one gives you more uh, of those, uh, you know, the casting patterns materials for uh, 60 bucks. Tome of Muscle Training gives you some soldier training materials as well as some uh, training crystals for 25 bucks. We also got a Lucky Summon Chest for 10 bucks um, for just one pole. Honestly, 10 for 10 is actually a um, good trade off, I guess. <laughs> Huge training voucher gift gift box. This one gives you even more uh, Trinity, uh, Trinity materials that you need for your summons for 20 bucks. This can be bought one time and same with the other one that I mentioned. Oh yeah, and let's not forget the, the Vibrant Memory Bag. This one costs 20 as well, which is the one I got. So we'll look into that as soon as we can, but that, that'll be at the end of the video or I would say like near the end. I was So yeah. Uh, let's see the missions. Um, I think that's all. All the stuff I can cover for now. I know there's a lot of events that are still coming, but anyways, enough with the rumbling. We need we need a summon. My God, it's taken like I don't know how many how long would that take me? Uh, like 23 and a half minutes. Like just to explain the whole update. Oh my God. Yeah, that's that's a. That's actually a long. Long lecture. <clears throat> Sorry if, if all of you had to wait for all of that. But anyways, I'm gonna timestamp everything so you you can skip to the good part. So anyways, this is the banner I'll be summoning here. I have a lot of those resources saved up on, on my on my account, so hopefully I can reserve some for the later banner I would like to summon. Anyways, I'm gonna transition to the summoning page now. Here we go. So these are my targets. So, anyways, like I explained earlier, my alt account got the uh, got girl in the show. So, yeah, I'm hoping I can get someone else on here. So let's take a look. Here, here goes first ten. All right, one second. Need it. And uh, so far, I don't see anything going on here. Okay, first 10, nothing. All right. Number two. Okay, here we go. What we got here? 
Come on. Be nice, Zilong. Okay, thank you. you. You got me the SSR here. Let's see who could this be. Honestly, I'm a little nervous. <clears throat> well, I'm not mad about that. Honestly, yeah. Honestly I think Girl in Show is probably best on my main account, but hey, at least I got her now. No complaints there. So yeah, as you can see, I got Girl in the Show already, so this is the 20th pull I got, and right away, we got Girl in the Show. Which is pretty nice, if you see so myself. But anyways, like I said before, I already pulled her on my ult, so I was, I was, uh, I was in a mix here, because I wasn't mad, but again, I'm also not happy. It's because, you know, a lot of people say Girl in the Show is probably one of the worst thing you pull, but either way, I can make it work. Alright, reset my pity my pity bar really quick. Reset it because I'm gonna do it again. Hopefully for another character. <coughs> Alright, first ten. Okay, and also before I forget, I forgot to check this. There we go. Just to remind myself I already got this character. Okay. Nothing at the first ten. Here's twenty. Okay, twenty, here we go. And uh still nothing here. Okay. Here's thirty. Uh, did I forget to update my thing? Okay, 30, whoops. <laughs> my bad. Okay, here's 40. Come on, show me something, please. Eh, uh, not likely. I think we'll get this one at pity or at most worst. I hope not. <laughs> okay, here's 50. And uh, nothing is showing up here, okay. Here is 60 with burning Trinity Crystals now. Okay, who are we getting here? Okay, nothing. Okay, 70. Okay, please Zilong, come on. All right, 80. We're going close to pity, so we'll see. Um, I'm pretty sure I'll be getting something out of it, but I hope. <clears throat> okay, two Varguses, that's pretty funny. <laughs> Here is 90. Oh man, we're getting close to pity, are we? The next one is going to be pity pole. Let's hope for someone good. Okay, 
nothing here. I skipped all that. All right, here it is, pity pole. Hmm. Okay, this is definitely for sure an SSR pole. So let's take a look who are we getting here. Come on, game. Give me something good, please. I beg you. All right. Let's see what, what we're getting here. <laughs> Dios. All right. Oh, ho, ho, ho. look at who we got here. Oh man, look at this. Okay, hang on. Before we go any further, I want to uh, screenshot this so I can show it to the community. Alright, uh, anyways. We Anyways, I know there's probably something else in this in this um poll, but we we'll, we'll see what we what else we got here. And yep, here we go. Another girl in the show. So I think this is the second copy I got for her. So uh overall I am satisfied. Just a little, just a little FYI. So yeah, these, these two characters, yes, I successfully got both of them, which is pretty nice. Although the sad part is that I, I, I got it at a cost of pity rate. Well, anywho, my summoning uh, targets are all acquired. Both of them have acquired. I repeat, both have acquired. For just like 120 uh, Trinity vouchers worth for polls. Anywho, I think this is probably one of the bestest luck I ever got so far. Uh, because my first 20 I got was Girl in the Shell, which is just her by herself. Uh, and then on the pity poll on this one we just got, uh, I got the Lion Shadow. As well as another copy of Girl in the Shell. So basically, I got a 4-star Girl in the Shell to start with. Which is, a, which is a huge plus for me. Because I get to do all these Gate of Fates uh, in my own, uh, own playtime. Honestly, uh, with this kind of rate, something rate like this, I think I'll stay play. I'll keep playing the game until uh, I don't know until a certain point. But anywho, I'll continue uh, provide the contents for this game. So yeah. Anyways, before we end off the video, like I promised earlier, I'm gonna tell you the information of what the hero bag including. So, anyways, let's get into it. So anyways, the hero bag is should. It should look like this. Vibrant memory bag. So that's what this is. So let me explain what this uh, banner, I mean, not, not, well, not banner, what this bag includes. So anyways, I'm going to put them all in one video so that way you get to know what they are. So anyways, so this hero bag includes all the characters from the past batches all the way until Ricky and McLean. So that means the crossover heroes would not be in this batch. And also, Waitham would not be in here at all. And also, you cannot get a Dank Elmo, uh, Lightbringer, Sword of Light and Shadow, and Girl in the Shell. So yeah, these are the characters that are not in this bag. So if you're planning, if you're, wish, if you're thinking about getting those characters, uh, this is not worth it. But if you're, if you're trying to unlock the cat past characters you haven't got before, or if you want to secure the Destiny banner, uh, like for example, Epsilon, Awesome, and uh, Vincent. Uh, so far I have two characters that I'm missing there. Uh, I can probably just get one of those characters from this bag so that way I can get the other one guaranteed. You can do that either way. Anyways, for me, I'm gonna choose Lawson because this is the unit I wanted because uh, I've been struggling with the ways of the loss without him. Because like, I don't know, there's no way I can beat that without Lawson. It seems because like uh, you know, none of my units could actually walk away after attacking. So yeah, with lost them on my side, it will be much easier. So anyways, lost them will be my choice here. Uh, 
<clears throat> Anyways, uh, to summon lost them, those shards I got, I had to go down here. And there he is. I just need to click call hero. And then he will be summoned here. Pretty neat, right? So, like, if you're missing any characters, this is the best uh, pick for you if you need it. Yeah, I'm gonna build these off camera, so just an FYI. So far, my banner, my banner, uh, summoning uh went great. I I think it it went great because I got I got both characters on banner, which is pretty nice. Anyways, uh, I believe that wraps up the video. Uh, I'm sorry that the video took so long uh, to to like explain everything because this update is huge. Anyways, we'll explain more uh, next week if if there's any more. Anyways, uh, let me do a recap in case you guys haven't heard me earlier. The hero bag includes all the characters except Ricky and McLean. Uh, I mean, all the way up to Ricky and McLean. So, any of the recent release would not be in the bag. Just to throw that out there. See you all next time, everyone. And uh, Happy New Year's. And I forgot to say Happy Holidays when I was doing the previous... Uh, Major update uh, review. Not major update, uh, the weekly update review. So, yeah, sorry about that. Anyways, ha Happy New Year's, everyone.